Good morning and welcome to this month's Designer Talk webinar. My name is Linda Abbott and I'm the Senior Architectural Design Consultant for Stone Hardscapes. I've been working in the industry now for about 22 years. I absolutely love everything to do with natural stone. Anybody who knows me knows this. I'm going to get started with today's Designer Talk webinar, Busting Material Myths. It is going to be one of the most important videos that I'm going to be doing this year. Super informative. I hope you enjoy it. And I look forward to your feedback afterwards. Three things I'll be touching on today. The truth about natural stone from material cost to insulation, porcelain paver facts, and how to select the ideal hardscape stone choice for your project. We strive to be as transparent as possible by educating our clients on the various stone options, as well as provide pros and cons of each type of material when helping to specify the most appropriate stone for your project. Goal one, the truth about natural stone from material cost to installation. Let's debunk the myths of natural stone right here, right now, so there's no question about the many benefits that are associated with incorporating natural stone into your commercial and residential design projects. Myth number one, cost prohibitive. Many people assume that natural stone is more expensive than a man-made material, such as concrete or porcelain pavers. The perception of natural stone being more expensive because it's real and has a more elegant and overall look to a project's design automatically makes you think it is more expensive. But let's be clear, it is not more expensive. Not only does the cost of natural stone compare to a better quality concrete paper, there are several overall benefits that will outweigh the choice to use concrete pavers over natural stone pavers. Benefits. Natural stone will never fade from sun exposure. The red and concrete that you see in the photo will fade from the UVs and will require color enhancing to bring the color back. The cost to maintain the color of the concrete over the lifespan of the project will cost thousands of dollars. Natural stone will never fade. So that beautiful golden color that you're looking at here in the picture on the right will look as good as the day it was installed, even 20 years later. So wouldn't it be great to go back to a job you specified 20 years later and see the material looking just as gorgeous as the day it was installed with little to no maintenance needed? Natural stone also stays cool to the touch. This is great for pool decks and anywhere clients will be barefoot on the pavers, including your fur babies. If you're working on lead projects, the SRI values will earn you more credits as well. Myth number two, natural stone is not environmental friendly. Natural stone is mother nature's original sustainable building material and clear choice for seeking a green building rating certification. So again, if you're working on lead projects, not only will you gain credits with the SRI, but you'll also be specifying a sustainable material. Here's a quick recap of the global warming potential with the popular materials being used in the building processes today. Notice how low natural stone is compared to the other materials on this chart. The manufacturing impacts show it here in this chart. For natural stone, extract, transport, and produce. Man-made materials create a larger carbon footprint, as you can see here. Myth number three. Natural stone is slippery. This is one of the biggest misconceptions in the industry. If the correct finish is being specified for the exterior, 
it will be safe. All of Stone Hardscape's materials go through the proper testing to ensure that they are safe for residential as well as commercial applications. Our Stone Hardscape's team is on the ground overseas, checking on the stone to ensure that it is manufactured correctly and safely to be shipped abroad. All stone is not created equal. Just because it has gone through the tumbling process does not guarantee that it is safe there is a percentage of tumbling and brushing that takes place, and it requires the perfect combination of both in order to ensure safety. Tumble travertine is the most commonly installed natural stone for exterior application because it's been offered as an alternative to concrete pavers for over 20 years now. They bring a sense of old world charm to any space, and travertine pavers are favored for the timeless finish and stylish designs. Depending on the size selection of the stone, you're able to create a space that's traditional, transitional, or even modern. For example, the Ashler pattern, which is a four piece pattern shown here, gives a more traditional to transitional feeling. The tumbled finish gives it the slip resistance required to pass the dynamic coefficient of friction testing, otherwise known as DCOF, required to be acceptable for commercial applications on exterior areas. Travertine is versatile and can fit into a variety of design concepts. If you're looking to create a casual, lived in and relaxed environment, then tumbled travertine pavers are a perfect fit. The mocha travertine pavers melt harmoniously into this environment on this commercial pool deck space. I love this neutral color palette, don't you? It makes accessorizing so easy for designers. Myth number four, installation is more expensive with natural stone. Did you know that installers charge as much as double the amount of money to install a porcelain paver over a natural stone paver? Installers charge more because it's much harder to cut. It requires special blades that cost more. And when the material chips, it can't be fixed. Spacers are also required for porcelain. Sand set creates lippage when pavers shift on the deck because they are rectified or perfectly square edge. If mud set, it's okay, but there is grout and that gets dirty and cracks over time. So when you're working with porcelain, these are the factors that need to be taken into consideration. Always remember that the natural stone installation is going to be less expensive in a sand set application than a porcelain. Hands down 100%. You will not find an installer that will install porcelain pavers in the, with the same cost for installation as natural stone. There is also a cost misconception when it comes to the difference of installation costs from natural stone to concrete pavers or any other man-made paver. The truth is there should be no difference in costs because the sub-base is the same. So whether it is granite or marble or concrete pavers, the installation as a sand set application is the same. This is also the case for a mud set application. Bottom line, the installation is the same for a concrete paver versus a natural stone. They both follow ICPI guidelines for proper installation methods. Myth number five. Natural stone is high maintenance compared to a man-made material. I've had natural stone on my pool deck for the last 16 years, and I could not an easier material on my pool deck to maintain. Bleach and water are your best friend for all surface dirt when you have natural stone pavers. For stains, you may need to leave a little bit of bleach, sit for a few hours, then scrub it a bit before you rinse it. But overall, it is very easy to maintain. I promise you that. We even have our VP giving a tutorial on care and maintenance of natural stone on the Stone Hardscapes website using wine and ketchup for the test. 
Check it out sometime when you have a chance. Low maintenance. So create your outdoor oasis with peace of mind that you can pull together all the beautiful organic materials of mother nature with low maintenance requirements. Myth number six, natural stone requires sealant. No reason to start sealing your pavers unless there is an environmental factor that warrants you to do so. Sealing your stone creates maintenance because when it wears off, you'll need to reseal it to keep it up. Since natural stone never fades from sun exposure, there's no real reason to need to start a maintenance plan. I'm talking more so on residentials. Commercial pool decks have higher foot traffic patterns and therefore it is more common to use sealant. When using sealant, it's important to use a water-based impregnating sealer for natural stone. It has to be a penetrating sealer, not a topical sealer, which is one of the biggest mistakes made. And it will make your pool deck turn into an ice skating rink. So please, installers, do not use a topical sealer on natural stone. Only use an impregnating sealer for natural stone or what they call an, a penetrating sealer. Myth number seven, natural stone requires grout in a mud set application. Totally false. The beauty of natural stone is that it could be installed in a butt joint installation. Whether it is sand set or mud set, no grout is required and can be set butt joint. No worries about dirty or cracked grout on a natural stone pool deck. Myth number eight, not enough color options in natural stone. There are thousands of natural stone quarries around the world with the most stunning materials from white to black and every possible desired color in between. We manufacture about from about 15 different countries with distributions around the world to accommodate projects globally. We have over 40 different color options and range in size from four by eight to 24 by 24. For anything custom that your project's design intent calls for, we can even do larger sizes and other custom pieces. Myth number nine, natural stone does not look modern. Please tell me how this pool deck does not look modern. It's all about the size of the stone being used as well as how they pair with other elements in the space. As you can see here, artificial turf was combined with natural stone to create this beautiful modern pool deck. Here I wanted to show you some design concepts to add visual appeal and texture to a space. The Passeggiato vein cut travertine creates striations that are absolutely intriguing. And the columns shown here wrapped in natural stone reflect this. Outdoor grilling station facade also features natural stone cladding these design concepts channel the organic flow of materials from one area to the next and keeping with the fluid transition of materials from space to space. Myth number 10, natural stone has too much color range. Since natural stone is a product of mother nature, it does have a color range to it. However, each type of material has a different level of color range to it. Understanding the GSI guidelines will help with the selection process to identify the quality level of what best fits into your design intent. So what are GSI guidelines? Do you know? The most simplest way to understand quality levels is by the Global Stone Institute's quality level specification chart that I'm showing you here. Think of this chart as you would when purchasing a diamond ring. I think you will easily understand the importance. The price of the diamond is created by its cut, its color, 
it's clarity, and it's carrot. So with this chart, you can categorize the quality levels from classic to premium to plus based on the pitting size, the calibration, the color range, and the overall pitting of your project. We encourage our clients to view and utilize the attached Global Stone Institute specification chart on color range and quality levels for travertine. The universal method of educating and creating transparency for assessing travertine quality levels will ultimately create clarity and clear expectations in a universal language around the world for our clients to follow when identifying quality levels and price points of travertine. So which quality level would this be according to the GSI specification chart we just looked at? Premium. Number 11, natural stone can't be submerged. I hear this all the time. And it is the farthest from the truth. We have provided stone for a variety of wallet water features, including this beautiful, iconic project. Throughout this project are natural stone water features. If you're ever in Hollywood, Florida, go check it out. The Seminole Hard Rock Resort and Casino project is absolutely beautiful. Residential pools are also incorporating natural stone into their designs. Whether it is a beachfront entry or full interiors of a pool, you can fully submerge natural stone and add it to your pool design concepts. If you ever get a chance to go to Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, you will also see natural stone submerged in multiple swimming pools around the property. Look how beautiful this looks. You can see the marble and the granite and the travertine being used. Goal number two, porcelain paver facts. There are pros and cons for the various material options out there. Let's review porcelain and here are the facts. Durable, but not maintenance free. Porcelain is very strong. It has low water absorption and is a durable material. Overall, it is easy to maintain, but it is not maintenance free. Textured porcelain will require extra scrubbing to remove dirt and debris. The grout lines between the porcelain will also need special attention. Make sure to always rinse the area and sweep it before you start cleaning it. Do not use cleaners that have acid or chlorine since it could hurt the intrinsic colors of the tiles. Don't use a metallic brush to scrub it. Don't use cleaning agents that have coloring. Vinegar and water is a good option for cleaning porcelain. There are a variety of color options available in porcelain. However, for exterior application, you'll want to go with the lightest colors to ensure the material won't be too hot underfoot when walking barefoot on a pool deck. I do not recommend the dark gray colors that I've been seeing getting installed on rooftop decks across the country. There's a reason why porcelain materials are used for pots and pans that are made for cooking. They are a great heat conductor. If you want to use porcelain papers for an exterior application, consider a very light color that won't make it unbearable to walk on barefoot, especially, especially on a pool deck. Wood look plank papers are great for undercovered patios and, gaze and gazebos. Porcelain's look gravitates towards a modern aesthetic. Many designers are selecting porcelain for their interior design projects, for kitchens, bathrooms, and throughout the home's living areas. 
when wanting to connect the inside and the outside of the home, do not carry that same interior porcelain tile to the exterior. There are a lot of problems that will arise with regards to slip resistance in wet areas when the same material is used. This is a lawsuit waiting to happen. And if you use an interior porcelain tire on the exterior of the home or commercial property, it will be a problem. Instead, look for a porcelain tile or paver that complements the interior tile to create a beautiful flow of materials from inside to outside. Be sure that the exterior material is rated for exterior applications so that the material will have the proper slip resistance needed when the material is wet. Porcelain, sand set versus mud set. This is a very controversial subject. You will hear from many manufacturers of porcelain as well as installers that porcelain in a sand set application is fine. However, I have a very different perspective of this due to seeing a variety of installations of porcelain in a sand set application with an outcome of unhappy clients. Porcelain is square edged, sometimes rectified. What is the definition of a rectified tile? A tile that has had all edges mechanically finished to achieve a more precise facial dimension. It allows for installation using a very narrow grout line, about 1 16th of an inch. And it is important to know that the rectified installation is a more challenging installation because the floor must be flat and there is very little room for variation. Mud set porcelain is the way to go to ensure that you don't have lippage across the deck. Spacers and grout are required to achieve a properly finished installation. With a mud set application also comes additional costs that are not incurred incurred in a sand set application. Installation, excavation, and compaction of a soil, three to four inches of a concrete base. This is one of the added costs. Spacers are required for porcelain pavers to guarantee precise alignment and even joint spacing. Porcelain is laid using mortar, which is also an added cost. Note, Shaping porcelain pavers is done using a wet saw equipped with a diamond blade. The tool is essential for making accurate cuts, allowing each paver to accommodate the contours of the installation area and any unique design requirements. Because of the hardness of the porcelain, the diamond blades dull easily and may be replaced several times during an installation. This also drives up the cost because they have to purchase the more expensive diamond blades. Grout is also needed to solidify the structure. Pedestal pavers. Another type of installation that is very popular on rooftop jobs, but not necessary. However, let's talk about it a little bit. Another type of installation is the use of pedestals, which have been have built-in spacers like you see here. Grout's not needed as the joint spacing between the material acts as drainage for the water to seep through. Popular for water drainage on rooftop decks. It's advisable to partner with a roofing company to do the waterproofing and pitch when working on rooftop pedestal installations. Porcelain coping. Typically, porcelain pavers come in three quarter inch thickness and has a bullnose option available in complementing colors. The three quarter inch thickness for the pool coping does not give the pool's coping edge that substantial and sophisticated edge detail the way other coping materials can. Some solutions for those wanting a porcelain deck, special order a drop face porcelain coping or select a natural stone coping that is standard at one and a quarter inches and can go even thicker to give it a more beefier edge profile. Goal number three, how to select the ideal hardscape stone choice for your project. 
There are so many different factors involved when designing an outdoor oasis for your client, and these factors have to be taken into account. One, the aesthetic. There's always a look the client is wanting to achieve, and it's our responsibility to bring their vision to reality within budget and on time. Budget. Usually the main driving force behind a design some clients have champagne taste with a beer budget, and we have to find that perfect material to give them the look and feel they are looking for. Climate. Certain materials hold up better in certain climates, so we have to be aware of the climate that this material is going in to make sure that it works properly. I've spent a lot of time going over the myths of natural stone so that you can feel 100% confident incorporating natural stone into your designs. If you're looking for a timeless elegance, then you can never go wrong with the organic look of natural stone. It melts seamlessly with the outdoor environment. It maintains its beautiful color, it's weather friendly and low maintenance. Natural stone is versatile for traditional to modern home design concepts. Changing the stone size and finish will create different looks across the various areas of a project. Material costs are the same as porcelain and some concrete brick pavers. Installation of natural stone is the same as a concrete paver. The cost of a sand set natural stone deck is considerably lower than the cost of a porcelain installation. A porcelain deck is double the installation cost than a natural stone installation. Porcelain has a trendy contemporary aesthetic appeal. It offers durability and is low maintenance overall. It functions best in a mud set application so be aware of pricey installation costs that should not be ignored. Why should we not sand set this material? Because of the square edge of this material, when it is sand set, the sand shifts beneath the stone. It will create lippage when that sand shifts underneath. When there is lippage across the deck, not only does it start to look unsightly, but you or your kids walking or running across the deck can easily stub your toe. And because of the hardness of the porcelain, it can be a bloody mess. Pairing natural stone and porcelain plank pavers can look really nice together if the project space allows. Here, the main pool deck has Cremabella marble tumble pavers on the pool deck whereas the raised cabana areas have the Isola porcelain plank pavers. Doesn't this look beautiful? Artificial turf. So when you're selecting materials for your project, think outside the box to create a unique design concept using multiple finishes of one type of stone or combining a couple of different materials. The key is to keep consistency overall to create a cohesiveness that ultimately pulls everything together. You'll not only add texture and excitement to the space, but also create a uniqueness and a one-of-a-kind signature look to your design. Check out how this Capri Limestone pool deck pairs with artificial turf. Are you ready to create your next signature design project? With so many different options for cladding and paving materials, whether man-made or natural, stone hardscapes can help you choose the best materials for your design. We are here to make your specification process easy, as well as bring your designs to fruition with both function and beauty. I hope this designer talk was both inspir inspirational to you, as well as informative. If you have any questions about today's design topics or would like to discuss an upcoming project, please don't hesitate to reach out. I welcome your feedback and I welcome your topic suggestions. I appreciate you joining me today for this month's designer talk 
webinar. I am wishing you boundless creativity in 2024. Thank you so much. Until next time, stay healthy and stay creative. Thanks so much.